I have built in the Cooler Master TD500 a dozen times or so. I've probably recommended it just as many times. However, I haven't really put it through its paces. And today, that changes. Oh, and the best thing about this is thanks to Cooler Master, Zotac, Crucial, and Newegg, we're gonna be giving away this build to one lucky viewer right now on Robitech. First and foremost, this is not your average square box case. And that's one of the things I really like about it. The front panel has a polygonal, polygonal, <laughs> a poly, polygonal, yeah, there we go, polygonal. The front panel has a polygonal message, jeez. The front panel has a polygonal mesh design that reflects light and just adds a little bit of that aesthetic bling to the look without sacrificing airflow, but more on that a little bit later. Plus, the design also extends to the side panel, which again, just adds some flair and also a little bit of unique lighting effects to your build. It's a nice departure from the usual box case design, and it does bring a unique look to the Cooler Master TD500. Speaking of which, I know you want to win this puppy, so let's make sure you check out the details at the end of the video on how you might be able to potentially bring this build home to you. The other thing I appreciate about the Cooler Master TD500 mesh is what's actually included in the case. On top of having three RGB fans, I also appreciate the fact that both RGB and fans have splitters that allow you to connect everything, whether that's to the motherboard or actually also an included ARGB controller that you can use to control the buttons if you're like super into using like that tactile button. Some people just wanna pretend that they have like all that power at like a press of a button. Though the case is unique, it's going to be up to you if you like the aesthetics. I know a lot of people do, and I keep getting requests for the case for commissions, but the case isn't going to literally appeal to everyone. Now the case comes in at $119 or $126 on Newegg, depending on if you're gonna go for the black or the white version of the case. For front panel, you're getting two USB 3.2, one 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and one 3.5 millimeter mic jack. Now let's cover what you can put into the case, shall we? For motherboard support, you get the gamut, mini ITX, micro ATX, ATX, and even EATX. But to be honest, not sure where you're gonna be routing all those cables. So so unfortunately, this isn't something that I would like recommend unless they came with like a portal feature where you could like run cables through a portal and then it comes out in a, is that a thing? For clearances on the CPU cooler, you can do 165 millimeters, which means you could use that massive Noctua NHD15, which would fit here. For GPU, you're looking at 410 millimeters, which means pretty much any retail NVIDIA or AMD variant, or potentially even a Death Star would finally fit in there. For PSU, you can do 180 millimeters for the hard drive cage installed, and you can do up to 295 millimeters if you want to remove it. 295 millimeters is plenty of room if you're looking to throw in that 1200 watt PSU to pump up your GTX 1060 to its limits. Why would you do that? You are all my favorite fans, but unfortunately, none of you will fit in this case. But hey, join our fitness channel over at discord.gg slash robitech and you might. Okay, no, you're not really. You're not gonna be that small, but hey, could be cool and you can hang out with us anyway. Now for the fans, the ones that fit in the case. You can do three 120 millimeter at the top or two 140 millimeter if you want. For the front, you can do 320 millimeter, two 140 millimeter, and finally, at the rear, you could do a single 120 millimeter fan. Now for radiator support, you can do 120 millimeter, 240 millimeter, or 360 millimeter at the top. You can do 120 millimeter, 140 millimeter, 240 millimeter, 280 millimeter, 360 millimeter at the front. And then finally, you can add a 120 millimeter radiator at the rear if you like. Well, I think that about covers what potentially you could fit in here. Why don't we flex this puppy and actually put a build in here that you might actually win. Okay, let's talk about the parts that are going in the build we're gonna be giving away. So first and foremost, this is an Intel build. Big shout out to Intel for sponsoring this. The Intel Core, Core i7 10700K. This is the NZXT N7 Z590 motherboard. For our cooling, and obviously this is a Cooler Master build, so we're using a lot of Cooler Master parts. Uh, we're using their Master Liquid ML240 Illusion White Edition. This build is sponsored by Crucial. So they gave us a couple M.2s. We got a P2 and a P5, a 500 gig P2, and a one terabyte P5. So there's our storage. This is 32 gigs of uh, CL16 3200 megahertz uh, RGB white RGB RAM. We're using that super clean white uh, gold V2, their 750 watt uh, Cooler Master Gold Edition purple Asia horse cables. I'm pretty stoked about this. We're using the Zotac Twin Edge white. So there's our parts 
right there. Should be an absolutely fantastic build. Well, let's start with getting in our CPUs. There's a little slot in the M.2, just like that. This is gonna go down here in the other slot. I'm super excited about using this cooler, by the way. I think this cooler is gonna look so good. So good! Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and start pulling this out. So there's that. So you can see there's some etching in there, which is kind of neat. There it is. Let's get our AIO mounted. And there is our build thus far. That looks very good. It looks so good. Okay, let's get our GPU out. Look how clean that is. That is, that is so clean. Okay, let's go ahead and put our PSU in. Here we go. And boom. Holy crud, that looks incredible. I love white builds, and this one came out especially clean, especially with those purple Asia horse cables. Now, I appreciate our sponsors, Cooler Master, Zotac, Crucial, and Newegg for helping us give this away, and stay tuned for how you can enter to win this awesome build just coming up. Just a few more minutes, just stay with us. So let's talk about the build experience in the Cooler Master TD500 mesh. First, I love how much is included in this case, and frankly, kudos to Cooler Master for making all of those extras to ensure you aren't having to hunt on Newegg or Amazon when you're three quarter finished with your build because you need a splitter or something. That is literally the worst. That being said, I do have some issues with the case. First, and I think this goes for all mid-tower cases, I really wish you would just give us that little inch or so that could make that height just a little bit better so we don't have any clearance issues with top mounting all-in-one liquid coolers. Secondly, if you want to replace all the fans in the case, the bottom front fan is a huge pain because you have to remove the pegs and fasteners and then you have to use them again for whatever fan you're going to replace the stock one with. All that being said, I do give this case a solid B+, just because it does some things exceptionally well, but a few things hold it back from truly excelling. A couple of small things worth mentioning that would be nice to have, but they aren't an issue to the point of really being a problem. Number one, really wish they had a dedicated place to run your GPU cables or just bit more space on the bottom cutouts. Running cables plus your other front panel connections right down there can be super crowded. Number two, just a little bit more height in the PSU shroud area would make getting the PSU in this case just a little bit easier. Number three, remove the hole in the PSU shroud. PSUs are just getting smaller and they aren't the prettiest. Let's just be honest. So having a gap in there or some sort of really ugly sticker isn't an ideal scenario. Outside of some very specific cases or some very specific PSU, no one really cares to show it off. Though maybe we could start a trend and literally be like, oh, that's a nice PSU build. I don't think it's gonna be a trend, even if I wanted it to. Number four, though I love the edge to edge glass, using those screws on the front isn't my favorite. Every time you're trying to open it up, it just gets fingerprints on the glass, which is honestly annoying. I know I'm not normally in the habit of mentioning the small things in these reviews, but we have seen revisions in this case. And if anything, I would hope to see some of these things addressed in an upcoming revision, given that this is a really actually very awesome case. A solid B plus for building, but what about the thermals? I mean, this is a mesh case. The thermals should be awesome, right? Well, let's jump in and find out. So the thermals in our Cooler Master TD500 in a slightly positive pressure configuration using Corsair Q0120 fans and a single sickle flow fan for exhaust, we were using an Intel 10th Gen 10700K with a Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240 Illusion. 
For our CPU temps in the open case scenario, we were sitting at a nice and comfortable 29 degrees, and when we closed things up, we saw a slight jump to 32 degrees, which was more than good. Now, when we pop things under load, we saw things get a little bit toasty, though. Our CPU in the open case scenario was sitting at a comfortable but warm 81 degrees, but when we closed the case, we saw temps as high as 98. Now, do I think this is a case issue? No, because our GPU temps were great which means we are more than likely looking at an AIO struggling with the cooling, though it did manage it and it's fine, but it's not at a level that I would consider myself completely happy. Now for GPU temperatures, we saw a much better story. Starting with the idle temperatures in the open case scenario, we saw a nice and cool 35 degrees with things jumping up to 41 degrees when we tested things with everything closed. Now when we started to put the GPU under stress in both open and closed case scenarios, we saw temps at a warm but very manageable 70 degrees. So what does this mean? Well, with GPU temps being good and knowing that the AIO is getting direct airflow, given that our GPU temps were so good and positive, then the reason for our Toasty 10700K is pointing to the Master Liquid ML240 illusion. Now, we still have a ton of headroom here, given that this was 100% load on the CPU for a long duration, which means it's completely fine and from a productivity and work perspective. But if the giveaway owner wanted to do something like overclock, they may need to upgrade to a 360 AIO or potentially a different AIO altogether. How will this giveaway PC actually perform in games then? You've done thermals, you've talked about builds, Roby, but I need to know if I win this thing, will it be good? Well, I'm glad you asked because we're gonna tell you right now. First up, single player, RTX. Given it's an NVIDIA GPU paired with a 10th gen 10700K, and again, we're using a Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3070 for Tomb Raider, running at 1440p, DLSS, all of the bells and whistles, 126 FPS across the runs that we tested. Bing, that's good. Metro Exodus, 1440p, ray tracing on high, DLSS unbalanced. What did we see? 62.39. Now new to the round here, and something that we haven't seen a ton of, is we're gonna talk about AMD experiences, given we wanna know how some of these perform as well. First up, Dirt 5 running at 1440p at Ultra. We're sitting at 104.3 FPS, which is more than good enough for some solid racing. Lastly, to round out the single player experiences, we're running Borderland 3, running at the highest graphical badass power preset, and we saw 87.06, which is solid. So what about MP? Because, you know, honestly, most of us are gonna be MP gamers, right? Well, no, some people still like campaign, some people still like single player, don't judge! No judge zone. Well, for Apex Legends, running on low visual settings at 1440p, again, optimizing for competitive, that's what we care about, that high frame rate, 246.5 FPS. That's a high frame rate. That seems to be good. What about Call of Duty? I play that, I play Warzone. How's that do? 1440p, competitively. Well, it's 158.1, bam. Finally, Fortnite, because you know you gotta watch your Ariana Grande concert at the maximum speed. Well, how about 391.3 FPS? All in all, this is going to be a great gaming PC, and whoever is gonna win this one is going to be very, very happy. So wrapping it all up, the Cooler Master TD500 is a great visually appealing option if you're looking for a high airflow case. Thermals are good for both C GPU and CPU, and the build experience is, well, it's okay. There's a small list of things I would love to see that would take this case from good to great. But if you wanna build this case, I hope I've given you some of the insight into making your build just a little bit less difficult. Now for the burning question, how do I win this PC? Well, easy enough. Check down in the description below for our Gleam link with all of the details on how to enter and win. So what are your thoughts on the PC? If you won, what would be the first game you would play? And are you interested in actually building on the TD500? Because I know this build looked pretty sick. Would love to know all of that down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button with that like button and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we release a video right here on Robitech. We're releasing more all the time. Also check out our robitechdeals.com if you want all of the highlights, everything big coming in from the techs in terms of what the cheapest tech PC parts, all those sort of things, all covered at robytechdeals.com. If you wanna hang out with us, talk about builds, talk about tech parts, talk about dad jokes, head over to discord.gg slash robytech. Join the over 14,000 people who talk about that every single day. Anyway guys, follow us on all the socials at Robytech. We're everywhere doing dances. We're showing you pretty pictures, everything. Instagram, TikTok, we're all there. Outside of that, we hope you enjoyed this episode and we will see you on the next one.